Welcome back everybody to my next video. This time let's talk metrics. It's such an important topic. How do you convince your board doing something if you don't have good metrics? I will show you which metrics I used and work well. The first one are manually handled incidents over time. So doing things manually shows that your automated processes are not working well. But over time, this should decrease. And if you spend the same amount of money, as an example, you're getting better. So you can show the effectiveness of what you are doing. The next indicator is mean time to respond or fix. If you have not done that yet, for example, start measuring how long does it take to detect a vulnerability and then until you fix it. Look at it over time so that you can show that you are getting better, so that the money you spend on security is worth it and that you are improving something. That's the core message that you try and should um, report to the board. What really is working well are benchmarks. Board members and also executive management, they will always look what their peers are doing. The next one is total security costs per full-time equivalent or per employee, however you count it. As, as many companies look at costs and also in risk management, you attach costs, very often you attach costs to uh, measures and the risk itself. It's very good to have a cost metric of your overall security program. There are good statistics out there for different industries, what the average is, like global average, financial industry average, health average. With that, you can show um, if you spend uh, uh, enough money on security. It's all, also good to have that indicator to, again, look over time. So what did you spend in the past? What are you planning? to spend in the future. So what is your forecast on that? Because if you increase that, you have to uh, justify this increase, why you spend that. Again, it helps to use benchmarks. I actually always had to explain, as I didn't work in the financial industry, that uh, employees complained about security controls and actually said, we are not a bank. And obviously we were not because we were spending less than half of the money on security. You will have another and a much more healthy discussion if you can show the numbers and you can justify why you spend that much on security. But don't just look at the cost. Take the effectiveness uh, metrics in there, show that you spend that much amount of money and you're improving the effectiveness. So you spend less maybe than the average less than the industry, but you are getting better and better. That's a good message that you want to deliver to your board or executive management. Another cost indicator is uh, the total security costs in relation to tech costs. There are, again, good statistics um, uh, f uh, available for free that show how much money um, companies uh, and industries spend on security compared to their tech costs. There are also some available compared to their revenue or compared to their size. So I used this one. And again, I used industry benchmarks. We also, in the past, we bought industry benchmarks to understand if we spend enough money or let's say if we overspend. If you overspend, it's difficult to get more budget. But if you can show you spend way less than your peers, it's much easier to ask for more budget. Um, and again, use the other indicators and metrics where you show the effectiveness and for what you want to use the money. So if you see that you, you, that you can't get better, maybe you need more money for that. Then you can use a cost metric to show if you spend enough money or if it's not enough if you compare it to your, your peers. So this is very powerful. These were my metrics that worked well. And actually, I didn't use many more. Usually, I focused on are we, are we getting better? And do we spend the money on the right things? And where do I want to, to spend the money next? You might also want to check out uh, the latest blog I write for Lacework. We also have a fantastic uh, podcast, Code to Cloud, where we uh, invite CISOs to talk about their journey becoming a CISO. And then I have these uh, bite-sized insights here on my YouTube channel. I hope you enjoyed it and see you next time.